Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to today's session on PyCaret. In this session, I'm going to show you how within seven lines of code, you can create, compare, and tune your model in PyCaret. At last, you will see how we can implement some of the model and sampling techniques in PyCaret. So without any further delay, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is pip install the PyCaret module. Once we have the PyCaret module installed, we are going to use the get underscore data method to bring in the built-in data sets in our Google Colab environment. Here I'm using the diabetes dataset, which is actually used to predict whether a particular person has diabetes or not on the basis of certain feature. Now diabetes prediction is a classification problem. So I'm going to bring in the classification module of PyCaret and then I will use the setup method to do some data pre-processing operations like missing value imputation, one out encoding, normalization and splitting my data set into train and test data sets. Now, if you want to know more detail on all these four lines of code and what are the other things you can do with setup method, how you can get in an external data set in PyCaret environment, please watch the first video of PyCaret introduction series. Now, our data is ready to be passed to our machine learning model. So the next thing we want to do is we want to use the create underscore model method and pass a string abbreviation for our classifier. So here I'm using create underscore model method and passing a string abbreviation like LR here. LR stands for logistic regression. If you want to see the mapping for classifiers, you can of course visit the create underscore model documentation page, which is here. And here you can see the estimators and their abbreviation is string. So for naive base, you have NB, for K nearest neighbor, you have Canon, and then you can see a lot of classifiers given here. So once I execute this create underscore model method, I'm going to get a lot of metrics, a lot of numbers here. I can see there are around 10 rows, then I have a mean and a standard deviation. The metrics that I'm getting are accuracy, area under the curve, recall, precision, F1 and kappa. So let's try to understand create underscore model in more detail. Let's go to the documentation and see what are the different arguments we have for create underscore model. So first thing is in classification, if you're doing a classification problem, you will get, of course, this matrices in the result. If you are working on a regression problem, you will get mean absolute error, mean squared error, root mean squared error, and the other matrices. The arguments that you can pass to create underscore model is a fold parameter. So by default, the value of fold is 10. So we are doing k-fold cross-validation here, and the default value of fold is 10. And there are other parameters like round, and ensemble so ensembling we are going to discuss later so by the use of this model you can you know do this create model method and in the output you can see we are getting the values of each and every fold in the accuracy way and already this is sorted i think by the accuracy and in the mean so this mean row actually is the mean score of all this accuracies or all the 10 folds that we are doing. So the overall accuracy that we are getting for our logistic regression model is 0 0.7780. And let's say we are not satisfied with this, we want to implement some other model also. So that's why the next thing we are going to do is we are going to use the compare underscore model method. What compare underscore model method does, it's gonna give you comparison of at least 15 models, which you can see here, right? So it is again sorted by the accuracy and the rest of the matrix is given here. Again, there is a lot of documentation on compare models. So if you go to the compare model documentation, it is a uh, it is written what are the classifications and regression matrices gonna show you. Again, this function is only available for classification regression. It is not available for natural language processing or the other uh, unsupervised learnings which are available in our PyCaret modules, right? Also, there is an interesting parameter turbo, which is by default set to true. If you set this turbo to false, it's going to include some more models here, the models which actually take a longer time to get the scores for you. So by default, they're excluded because they take a lot of time. But if you want to include those models, you can set turbo equal to false. So now you can see by using only, let's say up to here, we have used only five lines of code till now and we are able to create our model. We are using the sixth line here, which is the compare underscore model methods and which is showing a comparison of at least 15 models to us or 15 classifiers to us. Now, if you do the same thing in sklearn, you have to write a lot of code and you have to import a lot of module from sklearn. And then the rest of the work is, you know, getting the scores for these matrices. So you can see in PyCaret how much simpler it is to compare the models on different metrics like accuracy, area under the curve, recall, precision, F1 and kappa score. Still, we are not satisfied with the accuracy that we are getting. So the next thing we can do is 
tune our model. Tuning our model means playing with the hyperparameters. So if you want to tune your model, the method is tune underscore model. In tune underscore model, there are a lot of arguments that you can pass which are like estimator. So estimator is like uh, logistic regression, decision tree, random forest, or XGBoost. So for example, here I'm just using XGBoost in tune underscore model method. Of course, you can play around with the fold. So by default, the value of fold is 10, the value of round is four, the number of iterations. Optimize whether you want to implement ensembling or not. If you set ensembling equals to true, you can of course pass the method that's bagging or boosting here. So this all hyper parameters tuning you can do inside the tune underscore model to improve the accuracy of your score. The output of this is again a, a table which will give you the values of accuracy, area under the curve and rest of the matrix. So once your tuning model is done, we want to know what are the model ensembling techniques we can implement in PyCaddict. So first, what model ensembling is? So actually ensembling approaches or train several classifiers in the hope that it combines their prediction and will get a better output. So if you are doing a classification problem, maybe a voting by the different classifiers will happen, the most popular vote will win. If you are doing a regression problem, then maybe you will take the mean of all the classifiers that you are using. So in model ensembling, the first thing you want to see is the ensemble model method. So again, up to here, we are clear, we are just using the setup method and this time we are again doing the diabetes prediction data set. Here I'm using the decision tree and last I'm using the ensemble underscore model. In ensemble underscore model, I'm going to pass my model object. So here, this is my machine learning model object or the model object for decision tree. I'm passing it here and then I can use bagging and boosting as per my problem. So here I'm passing method equals to boosting and this will be the first ensemble model that you are creating in PyCaddict. If you want to understand what is the difference between bagging and boosting, there is a very good article written on Quantdare. I actually request you to go and read this article. It will really open your eyes. What is the difference between bagging and boosting? So this is how you can do the ensemble modeling in PyCaddict. Of course, there is one more option of blending the models. So in blending the models, what you do is you create a list of models and you actually blend them together. So here I'm bringing a Boston data set. So this is a very famous data set in which we are trying to predict the median value of a particular house in thousands of dollars. So I'm bringing in a Boston data set now. This is a, you can say a regression problem. So here the matrices we'll be getting is of mean absolute error or mean square error and root mean square error instead of our, you know, accuracy and the uh, uh, the other scores that we are getting in the classification problem. So these are the three models that I'm using here. I have created three model objects which are DT, Cat Boost, and Light GBM. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a new method which is blend underscore models and inside that I'm passing an argument which is estimator underscore list. In estimator underscore list I'm going to pass all the models that I have just created and that's how I will implement the blend models in PyCat. The last thing for today is we want to see the stacking of models, how we can implement the stack models in PyCat. So actually a lot of people use blending and stacking as a synonym, but there is a very slight difference between blend and stack, which you can search online and find out. So uh, one small difference here we are going to do is we are going to create a meta classifier, which is actually going to decide for you that which, which, which is the most famous output. So here I'm creating these three models, which are uh, rich regressions, LDA, linear discriminant analysis, and a gradient boosting. And at last, I'm creating my XGBoost model. So here I'm using a method stack underscore models. And in estimator list, I will pass my three models. And then I will use a meta classifier model. And I'm passing an argument meta underscore model equal to the XGBoost model object. And here again in the output, I will get the accuracy, AUC, record, precision, F1 and kappa, because this time I'm using a diabetes data set. All right, guys, that's all for today. In my next video, I'm going to show you how we can do model analysis and how we can create a summary plot using PyCaret. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and happy learning.